Hello, my name is Matt Wright, and I work with the Center for Academic Technology here at Butler University. This month, on the CAT video channel, I wanted to demonstrate some screenshot tools that can help you more quickly and easily get images into whatever you're working on. One thing worth mentioning is that your computer already comes with screenshot tools, whether you're using Windows or OS X. On Mac OS X or later, the keyboard shortcut is Command Shift 4. This will change your cursor to a crosshair to select part of your screen. Click and drag to select, and the screenshot will be saved to your desktop. In Windows, there's a tool called the Snipping Tool that serves the same purpose. You can find it in the Accessories section of the Start menu, or you can use the search box to find Snipping Tool. As on OS X, you can click and drag to select an area. Once you do, you'll be able to do some editing to the image. You can add ink, highlighter, etc. From there, you can save it to your hard drive and send it to somebody or copy it to your clipboard. If you find yourself needing to take screenshots frequently, I'd also like to recommend a third-party tool called GreenShot. It's free and open source, but it is unfortunately only available on Windows as of now. To download it, go to getgreenshot.org and click Downloads. Click the Download button to get the latest version and install it. Once GreenShot is installed, it'll run in the background and occupy your Print Screen key. Anytime you need to take a screenshot, press the Print Screen key. As with the other tools, you'll have a crosshair to select a part of the screen. In addition, though, you'll also have a magnified view of what you're selecting and information about the exact dimensions of what you're selecting. Once you've selected a part of the screen, you'll be prompted as to what to do with it. From here, you can save it to your hard drive or copy it to the clipboard. In addition, you can directly send the image to an application like Word or Paint or directly upload it to a service like Dropbox or Flickr. Perhaps more useful is GreenShot's image editor. Like the snipping tool, you can add ink or highlights. GreenShot's image editor, however, has more flexible tools. You can add rectangles, ellipses, lines, and arrows. You can also add text. Helpfully for course content, in situations where you might be dealing with personally identifying information, there is also an obfuscation tool. You can also crop and rotate as necessary. Once your image is edited, you can send it to several applications or websites as before. Taking screenshots can be very effective for guiding your students through an online course. Thanks to GreenShot, you can make those screenshots faster to capture and more effective via editing.